Hey, what's up? We live in a world full of stupid people. We all know that, right? They probably outnumber the smart people. I'd like to think that smart people outnumber the stupid people, but it's starting to look like that's not the case. Anyway, here's a video that I do called You're Stupid, where we bring light to the stupid things people are doing and taking pictures of and... Well, let's just do it. This is Your Stupid number 33. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? I bet you can't jump the barn. Hold my bear. Yeah, guess what? You can't jump the barn. I bet you can't slam your car into the side of a barn. Hold my bear. You really hit that little hill like a ramp? Well, I hope there was no animals in that barn. Or people. I hope that barn wasn't being used. Also, the person driving, I hope they're okay too, but who hits a barn with a car and you're not even hitting the barn? Like, it's not like you just ran into the side of a barn. You hit the roof of a barn with your car. Holy shit! Department of Corrections. Is that supposed to be like a joke? Like, ha 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 ha, because we're correcting the spelling. <laughs> eh, well, your joke's stupid. Oh, here's a man welding. And, uh, you know, I'm not a person who has ever welded in my entire life, but I'm pretty sure I know you shouldn't put a plastic bucket on your head while you're working with a very hot, hot flame. That's a good way to melt a plastic bucket to your face. This is not right. Get yourself a welding mask, okay? The job can wait if you have to use a plastic bucket for your welding mask. And how is that? That's not covering your eyes. You got shades on under there? I know it's protecting your face from the sparks, but it's only protecting your face until the bucket melts onto your face. I'm really worried about you, man. Like I said, I don't weld, so maybe this is some sort of new age welding helmet that I just don't know about. It just looks like a bucket. I don't know. I doubt it, but maybe. Arkansas woman arrested wearing bag of meth as hair bow. Wow, you thought you were being so clever. Turns out you weren't. You were being dumb. You just had your meth out there for everyone to see. You probably walked by a cop and the cop was like, uh, yeah, that person's wearing a bag of drugs in their hair. Ma'am, did you know you have a bag of drugs caught in your hair? And she should have just been like, what? Oh, God. I rolled around on a homeless person earlier. So, must have been when I tripped and fell into that crack house. And then I was just rolling around all over the floor like, Oh, I can't get up. And then I had needles. I remember, yeah, I must have scooped up some drugs with my hair. When I accidentally fell into that crack house. I just go in the car, just watch my head. You just put the handcuffs here. Here is a horrible way to install an air conditioner. This person just cut a hole in the side of their house. And it looks like they're propping it up with a broom. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Can't wait till you crush someone to death when they're just walking past your house. This is not good. That is not professionally installed, I have to say. If you hire a professional and they install your AC like this, hire a different professional. Guy says he was questioned on a plane for doing math during a flight. A woman sitting next to the Ivy League economist told flight crews she had a security concern about the man after seeing him write in a foreign script. It turned out to be a differential equation. Well, you know, in this day and age, you can't be doing math on an airplane, okay? That's just... What, what were you thinking? You can't use certain words on an airplane, and you can't do math on an airplane. Here's someone at the gym, walking on a treadmill with high heels. I don't know if this is a horrible idea. I know if I were walking on a treadmill with high heels... I'd break an ankle and smash my face on the floor. Maybe she's practicing for like a runway show. Or maybe she's going for like Miss America and her talent is going to be sprinting in high heels. Maybe. Maybe I should just mind my own fucking business. Maybe. Oh, here's some shoes. I ordered these. They have never been worn. The left one won't stay on my foot because my feet aren't the same size. All right, first of all, I don't think you're wearing those shoes properly, but I'm more alarmed at the state of your house. What the hell is going on? Why is it so cluttered? Why is there just crap thrown everywhere? You need to clean up whatever room you're sitting in here. That's alarming. You probably have raccoons living in there. I just don't understand when people take pictures like this and they don't care what their background looks like. I'm so self-conscious when I have to like post a picture or something, like if I'm selling something online, I'm so worried about how my surroundings look. I don't want my house to look messy. I don't know. I'm always very concerned about that stuff. It always confuses me when people like this just don't give a shit. I wish I could just not give a shit about things, but I always give shits about things. Also, you can't say they've never been worn when you are literally wearing them right now. 
in that picture. God, that drives me insane. Never worn my ass. You put them on your feet, they're worn. Okay, you might not have walked around in them, but you put them on your feet, they're worn. Value decreased. Oh, here's a notice on a door. A stupid notice, because that's what the video is. It's stupid. Notice, this is the back door. The front door is around the back. What? You're confused as shit? That's fine. Just don't come in any door. That's fine. And here's a guy with a robot. So let's just check this one out. What is this robot even for? Is this a castration robot? Is this a robot to rip your balls off? Because that's what you're using it for. Who has a robot that pinches and they're like, hey, I wonder what that would feel like if I made it pinch my junk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it popped my left testicle. Sweet. I'm going to go to the emergency room now. Get a ball transplant. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. This is You're Stupid. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash talks, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.